What's going on guys, it's Reese here from Instillment and today I have a super quick tutorial on compositing. And today we're gonna be looking at a photo that I took of Krista last year. Um, and she was in the rain here and I wanted to, you know, just add a little bit more to it. So we started with this right here and then we ended up with this. So as you can see, um, there's rain elements, there's fog elements, just to create that like haze and depth uh, within the scene. So. Yeah, let's get to it right away. So there's a hundred different ways to composite and of course everything is your own preference in terms of color, in terms of what, how much you wanna add. Uh, some people go for a more stylistic view, some people don't. Uh, but today I'm just gonna show you the way I like to do it and give you a little insight on maybe some techniques you could use to help you out with your own. But before we get deeper into this tutorial, if you guys would consider subscribing to our channel and giving this video a like, it really helps with our content creation because we are gonna be releasing content, well, pretty much every day. So I'm just gonna go based off of the project that I already have here. But right away, what I like to do is duplicate the background layer. And that just gives me a little safety in case I mess up on something or, you know, there's a mistake that I can't undo that far back. So I just have, you know, the normal layer at the very bottom, just in case I need to reset, it's an easy reset. Right away, I'm seeing some things in, these, in this picture that, you know, are just a little bit of imperfections. So right now, like this little, this little guy right here, why is that there? This little piece of grass. I know it's like nothing, but for me, I like to get rid of those things. Obviously you do the same, with uh, your subject as well, but Krista has very nice skin and uh, there's not much editing I'll have to do other than the tones of her skin because it was a super dark and rainy day. Uh, I like to shoot personally a little bit flatter, so my saturation and contrast are down and so it makes her look a little bit pale even though she's not actually pale. So right away what I'm gonna do there is I'm going to cut her out and you can do this by using either the lasso tool. Uh, I personally like to use the quick selection tool so that's what I use to uh, create this mask around her and the tire. I'm also gonna be separating them from the background because later on in this tutorial, I'm gonna be compositing elements behind them to create that depth. And that's the whole point of compositing is to create that depth in your scene. So. Um, right away here, I'm just gonna turn this layer on. We'll just pretend that I just cut that out. Um, boom, so now, you know, she's looking a lot more uh, alive, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, skin tones are more normal. She is looking like she actually looked in person there. Uh, so now that I have the tire and Krista separated from the background, uh, I'm gonna get rid of these other little imperfections over here, like this little rock, this little guy right here. And that is just a quick, patch tool or even the healing brush tool, just because those are very small. So those are gone. Everything's looking pretty solid. So before I even jumped into Photoshop, the biggest step to making this look real, like it was actually raining, was the fact that the ground was wet and Krista's hair was wet. And this really sells the effect because mixing practical and visual effects are the key to making them look real because the best visual effects aren't noticed because that's how good they look within the scene, right? So I made sure that when we were actually on the shoot, we got the hair wet, uh, the ground was already wet because it had just rained and this really helps sell the effect when I bring in this rain element here. Now you can get rain elements from all over the place. There's packs on uh, things like Envato elements. That's what we use a lot of. So I just, however you want to do it, you can even Google rain overlays. I mean, whatever you want to do. Uh, and you want something that has this separation of the white rain pellets with a black background. And this will now allow you to go into your blending modes, which is located over here. And now you can go add or lighten. Lighten's really not enough to really see the rain droplets and add just kind of gives it too much of a bright um, addition of the blending mode into the scene. So I'm gonna go right in the middle with screen and boom, now you have rain. And the rain itself looks very good here, but it still doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like, oh, it's raining everywhere. Because right now it just looks like it's raining right over top of Krista. And we all know that sometimes days can feel like that, but that's not actually what happens. So what we want to do next is bring in another rain element here. And this is the whole point of compositing is layering your composition to create this depth in your scene. So for this one, uh, I just found another rain element. The opacity is already down here. And that's the cool thing about these blending modes is once you put them on screen or lighten or add, uh, you can change the opacity to see how much rain you want in there. So, hey, if you want to go like it's raining super hard, you can go there. I decided to bring this down a little bit just to give it 
um, kind of like a motion blur effect as though it was really coming down fast. Now I won't get into too much detail, but basically you want to create the atmosphere that's going to be presented in the scene if it were to actually be raining. And so it was kind of a warm day and you know, sometimes when it rains, uh, some fog rolls up and even if it's not foggy, when it's raining, you can't see as far because there's so many different particles obstructing your view. So technically these trees back here in this part of the scene would be a little obstructed. So now you could do this with opacity, masks, all that kind of stuff. But what I decided to do was add in some fog elements. So right here, right away, you can see that this fog element here is same type of thing. Overlay, you change it with blending modes. Um, the opacity is already down, so this is what it would normally look like here. And I actually put this behind the Krista and Tyre element because again, it's all about layering the scene. And now I'm creating depth by putting it behind them. So we have the rain in front, we have the lighter rain going across, and now we have the fog in the background. And so now you'll see when I add this, and I screen it there, uh, it looks like it's a little too much. It looks like smoke now. So I'm gonna bring it down to what I had it at, about like 75 around there. So now you can see right away when I take this on and off, it's just adding a little more depth to the scene. It looks like if the rain's, you know, hitting the hitting the ground, there's a lot more uh, density of elements within the within the project. And now that I put some in the back, it only makes sense to put some in the front. So right here, I have this element here. Um, this is just another fog ground overlay. So once again, I'm gonna go to screen. You can do this on whatever blending mode you think is right. So here's color dodge, here's add. Adds a little bit too much because now it starts blooming some of the areas on the ground. So I'm just gonna stick with screen. And again, that looks like a little too much. It looks like smoke. <laughs> so I'm gonna lower that a little bit. I think I had it at 43 around that area. So now you can see that adds a little more depth to the scene as though the rain was right there at her feet. So I have a little bit of a color grade here just to really add that hey, it's raining outside, it's a dark, gloomy day, and boom, there's your final product. Um, I, would, I would really suggest having your uh, color overlay and your color grade over top of anything because that really blends all of the elements in your scene together. Because right now, without this color grade, it's just like, okay, there's a little bit of gray fog here, there's a little bit of gray fog there. Krista is very warm with the skin tones, but then when you put an overall color grade over it, it blends all the elements together to make them feel like they all belong in the scene together. So we started with this, uh, you know, skin tone is very cool. A uh, few minor little details here, no rain. And then we ended with this right here, which is a scene that you can, I think you can honestly believe that Krista was standing out in the rain. And of course, having the practical uh, moisture within the scene, so on her hair and on the ground, obviously helps us selling the effect. So. Yeah, I hope you guys learned something today about compositing. This was obviously just a very uh, simple example. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time on Instillment HQ.